Hello and welcome to Curtis Stage Tutorials. This tutorial is on floating an image using CSS and wrapping text around that image using the float. So let's uh, open up Dreamweaver here and I've got a I've got a div here with some text in it and I want to put an image in here and I want to wrap around the image. You'll see what I'm talking about here. Let's go up to insert image and I'm going to go pick a little image in here and let's see and then click choose and click OK and now I've got an image there and you'll notice when I put it in there the text here will start right after the image where I inserted it. I want the text to start up here and then wrap around it and I'll do a bigger image here in a second. So what I want to do is I want to go into code view and I want to make a class. So here we go I'm gonna a class will always have a period at the start of it and I'm gonna call this IMG float or image float. It's just, this is up to you what you name it. I'm just naming it image float. And I'm going to uh, put my declaration brackets. So the beginning, the opening, and the closing. I always like to do those first because then I, I know that I got them in there and I can continue on. What I want to do here is I want to have the, the property of float and I'll pick left semicolon. And then I'm going to do a little margin around this. So let's say margin and I'll do, oh, maybe it's say 8px. I'm going to pull up the properties panel and you'll see on the properties panel when I click on my image, I've got a little button over here that says class. And if I pull that open, you'll see I have a few things in here, including the one I just made, image float. Soon as I do that, it applies that class to the image. Check it out in code view when I go down to code view it's going to go here and look what it says it says image source and it shows where the image source is and then down here right at the very end of that before it ends it says class equals img float it could also be at the start of it as well you could you could have this um, this at the it doesn't matter what order it's in in other words this class equals image float could be at the at the beginning or the end um, just as long as it's it's with the image source code. Let me go back to design view. Put another one in here. So if I click in just kind of the middle of this text here, and I say insert image, and I pick another one. Let me this time do. There we go. And same thing. Look at how the text is not floating around the image. It's it's kind of starting here at the very bottom right hand corner of it. I'm going to apply that class to that as well. So I can apply a class to more than one object. And look what happens when I do it. It moves the image over to the left hand side, it's floating the image left, and the text will automatically wrap around it. And that margin that I put in there, back up here when I went to um, when I went to uh, image float margin 8 pixels, that is how much space is between the image and the text, top, bottom, left, right. Pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to insert a bigger image. So I'm going to go to insert image and how about this one? And OK, there we go. Now I've got some text above and some text below. Well, I want to apply this class to this so the text wraps. I'll keep that text up above, but I want to wrap the rest of the text around it. So I say image, float, and there we go. Now I've got text on the top, wrapping around. Now, the text will wrap around. Notice how its width is determined by the box that's holding it. So I've got, if I go in code view, I've got the content box, and its width here is 400. If I expand that to, let's say, 600, and go back to design view, you see how it expanded, and now my text expanded with it. So that's wrapping text around a floated image. This has been Curtis Stage Tutorials.